Okay, so it's 2024. The business has been eh, shaky at best. You know, it hadn't been what you thought it was going to be, right? And you've been working your ass off, you know, 10, 12 hour days, six, seven days a week, just trying to make it happen, trying to do whatever it takes to make ends meet. And uh, it's been kind of suck. In 2018, I had a serious wake up call at the end of the year because I had done exactly what you're going through right now, working these long hours, uh, six, seven days a week. And uh, at the end of the day, didn't have much to show for it. Barely making ends meet or living off the leftovers, you know, in my business. You know, and they say, if you're gonna live off the leftovers, you, be you better get used to the crumbs. And, and that's what it, that's what it had become, you know. So I made a, a conscious decision that in 2019, I was going to be on a mission to learn how to actually run a business. You see, it wasn't a matter of whether or not I had the skills in my trade. That wasn't the issue. It wasn't that I didn't have the tools of my trade. You know, I spent good money on tools and uh, made sure that I had all the necessary tools that I needed to perform the job, you know, that we were doing. The problem was I didn't have the skill level when it come to running a business. I didn't have the tools, the, the, the proper tools that I needed to run the business. And first and foremost, I didn't have the proper mindset that I needed in order to run a business. You know, I always talk about those three things being key to the proper mindset, the proper skill set, and proper tool set. When it comes to performing my trade, I had to have a, the proper mindset in order to acquire the skills that I needed to perform well at my job. I had to have the proper tool set to do the job. The same applies to business. Once we go from employee to entrepreneur, that mindset has to flip. It has to change. And although a lot had changed by 2018, I still had a long way to go when it came to developing the business mindset. And so on in 2019, like I said, I went on this mission to learn how to run a business properly. And, you know, I spent hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars, you know, to get the, the coaching, the mentoring, the courses, whatever it took you know, to uh, to do just that. And uh, I come to realize through several mentors and coaches that number one, I didn't know my business because I didn't know my numbers. That was a, that was a, a big wake up call. I didn't know my numbers because I never tracked anything. Like, how am I gonna know, know this stuff if I don't track it, right? So I never tracked anything. Uh, number two, I didn't know my customer. And what I do, I mean, I, I didn't know my customer because it ties in with number three. I didn't know my value, right? I provided the top level service to my customers over the years, but I wasn't being properly, properly compensated, right? Because I always undervalue myself. Like I didn't have to accept the prices that, you know, that they were willing to pay. But I did because I didn't truly know my value. Um, so I realized I didn't know my numbers. I didn't know my, my value and I didn't know my customers. So fast forward to 2020, I took control, okay? I took control by way of optimizing my lead flow, stabilizing my workflow, and increase and that, and that in turn increased my cash flow. And for the first time, I actually made a decent profit in my business. Um, previous years, little to no profit at all for most of the time. Like I said, most of the time it was just breaking even or squeaking by, you know. And in 2020, for the first time, I actually made a decent profit by doing the, you know, what I just said. And fast forward to 2021, by 2021, I 10X my profits from 2020 and 2021 by continuing to 
uh, implement the strategies that I uh, come to come to know as or come to call the profit acceleration method. It's a culmination of things that I that I've done in 2020 that I learned from and learned in 2019, implemented in 2020, and saw the actual results of all of that culminate in 2021, and 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 had you know haven't looked back since. Um, but this is what I actually teach in my coaching program right today. Um, and what I, what I mean by optimizing lead flow is, is basically we, t you know, a lot of us use, use word of mouth. You know, we do this, you know, I always just, when I ask people how you get your leads or how you get your business it's it's a lot of times it's word of mouth. Okay. Well, word of mouth is not a solid or viable business model in 2024. Okay. Based on my own experience, a lot of word of mouth got me a lot of cheap customers. And I'm just going to keep it real. The people would, when they would refer me, they would say, he's a great electrician and he's cheap. And that's because of me unvaluing myself. But see, I had no control over word of mouth. I had no control over how they were going to introduce me or how they were going to refer me or what they were going to say about me when they referred me because I came to them cheap. So then they would refer me cheap. If that makes sense. Um, the second thing, stabilizing the workflow, meaning that once I started, once I took control over my lead flow and I put up a GMB page and I started getting leads in from GMB and I was actively getting leads now from uh, a different level of customer based on my profile. I was getting leads from a different level of customer. Now I can close jobs that's going to be, give me higher profits, which in turn increase my cash flow. And that's what I mean by when I say I haven't looked back since because that is the, that is the core of my business today. And, and, and that is why I teach it, you know, teach it to my coaching clients and the people that I consult. So remember, it starts with having the proper mindset for business, having the proper skill set. And if you don't have the skill set, you got to seek the skill set. You got to seek out the people with the skills that can pass those skills on to you that you can so that you can develop the skills to run your, a proper business and having the proper tool set, meaning business tools. OK, you know, uh, software for CRM, you know, uh, other things that you need to run your business, you know, the proper banking, banking accounts and stuff like that. And ultimately, this will allow you to optimize your, 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 your lead flow, stabilize your workflow and increase your cash flow. Now, with all that being said, on Saturday, June 1st at 2 p.m., I am going to be doing the Profit Accelerator Workshop 2.0, where I will be deep diving into all three of these areas. Uh, again, like I said, these are the things that I teach in my coaching program and the things that I consult other skilled trade and home service business owners on in, in the private consultations that I do. Uh, but you'll be able to get into this workshop for $47. So I would caution you really to go ahead and register for that workshop. And if you're watching this after June 1st, then you can go ahead and just grab the replay because it'll be, it'll still be available for you. Now I want you to remember something. Sometimes we have to double back so we can double down before we can double up. Okay. And, I'll, and what I mean by that is when you double back, you can look back over, you know, your previous years or look back over the last you know 12 months or so look at your numbers do it you know do a real thorough look at your numbers and see what you're looking at so you'll know where exactly you are right now currently in your business right it will give you the opportunity to see what you did right as well as what you did wrong and what you did right that's what you want to double down on right that's what you want to double down on so it will so it will propel you forward to double up and and by doubling up you know let's let, let's double let, let's double the profits let's double up your profits by the end of the year or, or within the next 12 months or whatever the case may be depending on what your current situation is and how much work you're actually willing to put into this thing so 
listen, all I want to do at the end of the day is make the trades great again. So if you're with me on that mission, I'll see you in the workshop. If not, we'll see you in the next video.